We're going to do a little bit of backtracking this episode and cover some old ground. See, so we have an object. We it, it's first its original position is here x y z. We want to move it over there x prime y prime z prime. And we did that by adding a vector to it, vector v. We moved it from here to there. We're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to use our new friend that we've been talking about a lot recently, matrices. Matrices can do more than rotation and scaling. They can also move something. But the matrix is going to look a little bit different. If you recall, what we've been doing is we have three basis vectors, x, y, and z. And whatever we do to our basis vectors is what happens to any points that we multiply through the matrix. So if you remember our default basis vectors, or uh, <clears throat> I also called it the identity matrix, looks like this. These are the default basis vectors. Nothing has been done to them. And a, and a point that's passed through this matrix, nothing will happen to it. So we're going to add one new column here. I'm going to call it T. T stands for translation. Translation. Because in matrix speak, this operation of moving a point from here to here by adding a vector to it, that's called a translation. So let's see what's in our new translation column. Vx, Vy, and Vz. So we take the x, y, and z components of this vector right here, and we put it in our translation matrix as a new column and then this is going to be a 4x4 four four matrix 4x4 four 4x4 four, four four. and for the very bottom column we just fill in 0, 0, 0, 1 and now we have a translation matrix that is a matrix that when you multiply by some vector some vector, and now this is going to have to be a, a, a 4 by 1 vector instead of a 3 by 1 vector like we were using before. But when you multiply by this XYZ vector, this vector gets translated, and the result is going to be XY, X prime, Y prime, Z prime 1. I got to stick this 1 down here just because we need a 4 by 1 vector, and so. <clears throat> we put a one down here just to, um, to fill in that space. But here we have x, y, z, x, y, z, and x prime, y prime, z prime, x prime, y prime, z prime. And so we have a translation matrix, a matrix that will translate any vertex that's put into it by the, this vector v. So let's go to the code and see how we can use this to do some really cool stuff. So here we are in the, I'm going to scroll up a little bit, the, the character class where we define what a character is and previously it had a, a point right here and we would use that point to define where our character was in the world. But now you see we're doing it with a matrix and the observant of you will notice that this is a 4x4 four four matrix which is actually what we've been using all along and so now we have the correct matrix, we're using all of the matrix's power. And so we replaced our point with this transform matrix. And why is it called transform? Because it transforms the position and orientation of our character to where we want him to be in the world. So I've done a bit of legwork. I've gotten all of the code ported over from using a point to using this transform matrix. And so we're going to go all the way down to the rendering code. Here we go. The rendering code where we're rendering the, the player box. And before this said, this said something like box.vec point. So we were translating the, the player box where we're rendering it by where the location of the player was. But now this is done in a matrix, so we have to get that matrix, and then we have to get its translation and pass that into the translate function, but whew, that's, a, that's a lot. We can actually pass the matrix itself in 
like this and transform by the entire matrix instead of just by only the translation. And so we're gonna use a transform function for that instead. So what we're doing is we're getting ready to, to transform, to use one matrix to do all of these transformations. We, we know how to do a scaling matrix and a rotation matrix and a translation matrix. And in the next video, we're gonna learn how to combine all those into one matrix that can control all of the aspects of our character in a single matrix. So I'll see you next video.